Journaling is one of the few things that you can do every day that is good for your body, mind, and your soul. If you're interested in learning the benefits of journaling, then stay tuned. All right, let's get into the benefits of journaling. So first of all, I wanna say that I've been journaling since I was 10 years old, and that was like 30 years ago at least. So I'm I'm kind of an expert when it comes to journaling, and I talk about it a lot. Uh, I actually have another YouTube channel where it's all about journaling, and I will leave a link down below if you would like to check that out too. So on that channel, I talk all about journaling. So if you're really into journaling, then you might want to check that out. So let's get started with these benefits. So the benefits of journaling have been scientifically proven, making it one of the most effective and important daily activities you can do to improve your health. This is why I talk about it so much. And like I said, it has so many benefits for your body, mind, and soul. And I'm going to get into those right now. A few of them, actually. I'm not going to be able to cover every single one because there's probably hundreds. Let's start with mental health. So mental health is probably the area of your life where you will notice the most benefits from regular journaling. Healed traumas, less stress, less anxiety, less depression, empathy and compassion for others, and improved self-esteem. So let's go through these. You can heal your traumas with journaling. Now, that doesn't mean that you will for sure guaranteed heal all of your traumas through journaling, but there is a lot of um, coaches and therapists will have their clients work through their traumas using journaling, particularly journal prompts. So if you have any types of traumas, then journaling is probably going to help you in some way. So stress and anxiety and depression are all some things that journaling is good for. Um, that kind of goes without saying why that is, because when you sit down to write in a journal, you are relaxing and you're processing your emotions. And these are all things that help with stress, anxiety, and depression. So how can you get empathy and compassion for others just by journaling? That is a benefit of a specific kind of journaling called gratitude journaling. So when you are grateful, you will be more aware of the things in your life that are doing good things for you. And you can have a, a more broader perspective on other people and what they're going through from doing gratitude journaling. And of course, journaling helps your self-esteem because what you're really doing is getting to know yourself. And when you, when you know yourself, it just, it's a natural byproduct of that to have good self-esteem. So let's move on to the physical health benefits. Improved blood pressure, stronger immune system, less chronic illness, and addiction relief. So uh, the improved blood pressure, that kind of happens really quickly because when you think of high blood pressure, you usually think of stressful situations. So when you're journaling, you're, you're usually sitting down you're usually comfortable and cozy, and it, there's something special about sitting down with a book on your lap and a pen, maybe wrapped in a blanket, sitting in your bed or your couch, just relaxing and sitting still, just being still. That will greatly improve your blood pressure, especially when you do it on a regular basis and especially when you do it before you go to bed. So that's another benefit of journaling that I didn't write down here, but going to bed is so much better because you're actually going to be lifted of all of your worries. You're going to have less stress. You're going to feel calmer. So I always journal right before bed. It's a great way to sleep better. Um, so as far as addiction relief, that's something that I didn't know about until I started. I was taking this journaling course and they said that they use journaling to help people break addictions. So well, how that works is you're journaling through your feelings and your thoughts. And any time that you're more aware of your feelings and your thoughts, of course, it's easier to change them. So 
you can work through your addiction problems. So that, that doesn't mean that just journaling is going to help you kick an ad addiction. It's just something to help you manage and cope and work through it and eventually break that addiction. It's one of the tools that's used for that. So then spiritual health benefits. These are some of my favorites. This is why I like to do journaling. Finding your life purpose, connection with higher source, connection with higher self, manifestation, success, and satisfaction in career and job. So let's go through these. Finding your life purpose. This is one of my favorite subjects, and I believe that everybody should try to find their life purpose because it's been proven to make you healthier and happier if you find and live your life purpose. And I actually have a life purpose journal in my Etsy shop, and I will link to that, and you can check that out. That's a great way to help you. It kind of guides you to find your life purpose. So you can develop a connection with higher source, your higher self, basically anything that's higher, <laughs> you know, because when you are journaling, what you're doing is you're not in the past or the present, at least when you're doing certain types of journaling, like if you're doing gratitude journaling or brain dumps, you're usually in the frame of mind where you are more in the present. You're focusing on things that you're aware of. You're not dwelling on depression or anxiety, um, unless you're working through those things. That's a, that's a whole separate way of journaling. And there are lots of ways to journal. There are lots of methods and reasons for journaling, but you can do certain types of journaling that will help you to access your higher self. Um, like the, you can have a connection with all that is. That's a very spiritual thing. And that's probably a whole nother subject I shouldn't go too deep into in this video. So manifestation success. I use journaling for manifestation and it's one of my favorite ways to journal. I've actually got a couple different uh, manifestation journals in my Etsy shop, so I will link to those as well. The reason why that works so good is because a lot of the things that you can do to improve your manifestation skills involve journaling. Like one of them, the main one, is actually getting clear on what you want and in order to do that, you might want to write it down. <laughs> actually writing things down, that's been proven to actually um, help make things become in reality, you know? That's, that's what manifestation is, is making your thoughts become reality. And the, the first step in doing that, after you have the thought, is to write it down, is to make it tangible. Get it onto physical paper. So then another way that you can use manifestation journaling is to do scripting. And that is where you write down everything about the life that you're trying to create or this thing that you're trying to manifest using your senses. So you're going to write down the what it looks like, what it feels like, what it smells like, what it sounds like. All of the things that come in through your senses in your dream life or what this thing is that you're trying to create. You can also do future diary journal entries for your manifestation desires. So you basically write down a future diary entry of exactly what you want a future day to be like. So that's another great way to do journaling. And then you can also journal through your career and job issues. Um, this is another way. This is This is just scratching the surface really when it comes to reasons why you'd want to journal and all of the amazing benefits from it. So you can improve your life through journaling today. You can start today. I have an online course called Journaling for Beginners. It's on Udemy and I will leave a link below in the description so you can go right to that. It's really cheap. I'm not saying it's not worth money, but it's it's a very inexpensive course. I don't want to charge people a lot of money when I'm trying to help them to do things. So this course is, I believe it's only $44, but it might be knocked down to like nine or something like that. Journaling, uh, I'm sorry, Udemy does that a lot with their courses. So you might just get lucky and get it really cheap, but it's probably going to be $44, which is still a great price because what the course involves is 
um, I think there's like five videos. It goes through the benefits of journaling, all the different methods, all the different types, which is like I said today in this video, um, gratitude journaling is a type, brain dump journaling is a type, manifestation journaling is a type, but there's dozens of types. So I go through all of those. I also give you some exercises and um, a lot of printouts, a lot of printables that you can use. A lot of journal prompts as well. So journal prompts is another amazing thing and I give you like a couple hundred of those in this course. So be sure to look down in the description and check that out. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.